All right, we've got a little bit of a change of scenery going on here. I'm going underneath the car. I'm going to cut these old shocks off. And uh, we're going to go wash this thing. Nice old Nick Newick is down there. there. We've got to drive it over there and, uh, and wash it with pressure. First of all, we got to get the saws all hooked up. Well, that'll be kind of interesting. I bet you that's the first time anybody's ever climbed underneath the car with a sawzall in Youngstown with good intentions. <laughs> Got my sawzall, got a brand new blade on her. It's not even a regular sawzall, it's a Harbor Freight sawzall, which is even better because it's cheap. Alright. Blade good. I'll stitch it up. Let us then saw. Oh. Just chop these bolts off of here and screw it. I don't want to ruin the bolts. I'm going to cut through these rubbers here, maybe. quite sure what's happening here, but I think it's cutting the blade and not... Ouch! That's hot! Wow, you can see the smoke from my fingers. Oh, nice. Huh. Cut metal. No, that's just kind of looking at it and laughing at me. Could we just take the bolt off? Nah, I don't think those bolts are coming out of there. They look like they're fairly adept. I don't think they're totally destroyed by the rust, but I just, I uh, don't know. No thanks. Let's uh, chop her with the grinder instead, because apparently this is just going to keep ruining blades. Uh, the blade still feels sharp. Either that, or maybe it's just because it's catching my finger on fire. Yeah, that. Right. Play grab ass with the grinder down here, then. Never mind. Oh. We'll give this one to Steve. He deserves that. He likes these old ones. He uses them all the time. This one I just put on here looks kind of special somehow. I think it was uh, uh, some kind of a little more, a little bit more expensive one. I forget what the, what was about it, but whether it's a little bigger around or it's got slightly thicker or better material or what, it's Harbor Freight still. Yeah. All right. Try her again. All I'm going to do is cut that bolt in half and then just mash it out of there. And, uh, of course these shocks are still... Nah, these shocks are shitty. Alright, try her now.
Well, that's a pain in the ass. Maybe we should just grind off the nut. Yeah, probably. Should have done that in the first place. This crap here. Oh, that's part of the old emergency brake system. Groundhog. Ooh, hit the hole. Cool. Ouch. And I shredded the shit out of my finger with this thing. I'll show you. Groundhog. Got it. It's in the hole. Alright, we shrunk out and good. That one's a steamer now. Yeah, let's go get another one. Like, just barely too short to cut through the, the uh, heck of a jig now. Yeah. This thing ain't even hardly wore out. It's just wore out enough where it can't reach into the little gap there. And, Chop off the thing it needs to chop off. Yeah, you got a whole brand new stack of Get two down here. Probably gonna need at least that many. Or three. I'll take three. Here, hold this. Yeah. Man, I just want to make this nut go away.
get the BF-8s, so that'll help. Yeah, I think. So I might have to redo these. Which means, it might not matter what I'm doing right now. There, yuck, ouch. Ah, rust in my ear. Ah, I think I got it. Ah. Okay, I think we're good. There it is. Yeah, I heard, I heard it fall out and hit the cardboard. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, nope, we're still running. Running low on battery though, but we're getting there. There it is. Kick ass. Look at that. Now, that still ain't going to come out just because. Out of spite. I blew the wheel that one. No, no, I guess not. Yep. Wow, that's rough. Ouch. Okay, new wheel. I wish the dude wouldn't have stole my big ass grinder. I had like a this like seven inch thing, so it's huge. I took them big ass grinder wheel. I think it was seven inch, seven and a quarter or something like that. It, it was big. It, it was like this, but it had a handle on the side. Well. Yeah, this used to have a handle on it too, but I got rid of it because it was in the way. That thing was a beast, man. I mean, it would rip any damn thing in half. It'd tear the shit out of stuff with that thing. Oh, look at that. It rusted through here too. We got a new rust hole. I gotta rebuild that part of the frame now too. Grand. Blinky blinky. All right, good. Keep blinking. And I'll keep making stuff to blink about. Huh. What happens if I smack that with a hammer like that? Probably not much useful. Oh, there's a little bit of the nut left on there. Shit. Alright, well, let's see. Maybe we can get through here. Yep, gotta plug her in first, though. I was like, oh, yeah, it'd be like five minutes. We'll just chop these shocks right out of here. <laughs> I'll never do that. Oh, 
foul. Ah, missed me. Missed the sensitive parts anyway. Oh, yeah, I guess it's a piece of shit now that it's broken, but it was rotted out anyway. I barely had to touch that thing before it would saw right through it. This come out? It's gonna come out or what? It's come out. Well, come on. like object over here? No, eh, not really. Whoop. Bash the camera, how about that? That sounds good. Bash it. Bash on them good. There we go. That's end will just kind of screw out, I think. Or not. That's a washer, but it's got a piece of the nut still attached to it and it won't come out. Huh. Pain in a dick hole that oh here we go. Oh yeah, that was shot. That one never gonna come out with the <laughs> I didn't quite get it all the way through. That would have never came out with the uh sawzall. There we go. One down, one to go. Another time, one more show. Groundhog hole. Ting. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to keep these mounts or not because the gas tank's in the way. Sort of. Well, it might be in the way. I'm not sure if it is in the way or not, but. Might be is still potentially a pain in the ass. We'll see. It either is or is not. There is no try. Well, that doesn't bounce too bad, even with no shocks on it. That's kind of cool. Yeah, whatever. Let's keep going. All right, there's another. I don't know what this tube is. Oh, that's the old fuel line from when it was a car. It was completely a car. Now it's an abomination, but it's still good. My abomination. All right. See if we can chop yonder side off and mess up the camera while I'm doing it too. That'd be good. Yeah. Put a bunch of grinder sparks into the camera and burn the lens off it. All right, get her, get her.
Oh, this is actually up above the gas tank. It's fairly clean metal. Except for the giant rust holes. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can get to this better now, too. Let's go make sparks out of metal. Through. Ah, we are through. Ah, nice. Yeah, grab the hot piece one, would you? That'd be good. We are through, definitely. That's the whole. Yeah, grab the hot piece one, you? Ouch. Yeah. Should have brought a punch down here or something we could mash on her with. Get mashing on her. Oh, I see a spot where I can easy, more easily mount the gas tank to. Nice. And it's not completely rotted out, so we can deal with it. Good. <laughs> Actually, I can move that forward slightly. And still have room for the stock gas tank. The factory gas tank in this car goes up here. Get her. There it is. Got the bolt. This has got sharp metal on it, so it's going in the groundhog hole too. Nice. Come on. Got her. All right, these two pieces. This is a super damn hot one that I keep forgetting about. Well, I'm going to have to grab it while it's hot one more time. Oh, 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 hot, hot, hot. Ah, got it right in the hole. Cool. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah. Well, this shock's still got a little bit of compression left to it, but they're rotted out almost all the way through. The junk. Okay, well, there go the shocks. If I upload this before the exhaust video, uh, yeah, 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 ain't we fancy? All right, back shocks are off. I'll see you later.